Baba. Welcome in everyone. We're gonna be once again continuing to explore Starfield. Picking up where we left off, we're gonna continue going down the left side of the, uh, the solar system. Something just blew up. I guess we did just fight a battle here before when we, uh, here. So, we had just left off this area, the Van Man in Star, and it's very, very small. Like, you can barely see it if you're looking around here. It looks like it's just one of the stars in the background, so there might be one that you miss. Honestly, not missing a whole lot, <laughs> you know. Uh, let's head to Tau Seti, and we'll just kind of keep going kind of down and then kind of go into the main center of the universe here, because if you uh, if you're curious where all the like structures and cities and stuff like that are at, it, it's in this core area here, and then everything kind of is on the outer rim for the rest of it. There's like a little bit up there, but like if we go like here, you can kind of see basically everything on the map. Um, so we're just gonna kind of zigzag our way up and down. And, god dang, Tau Ceti is huge. That's fine. Let's go ahead and set course here. And, uh, start scanning and figuring out what's what. Hmm. You know, I might power down the engines a little bit. And enhance the grav drive, just so we're, like, slingshotting faster. Not that it's going to matter too much, because uh, grav jumping only happens when you're going system to system. Not when you're uh, going between the planets, so it won't do too much here. All right, let's scan this gas giant. A whole lot of nothing there. Then we can go down to, uh, where's Tau Ceti 1? We'll start at 1 and go from there. So we have a deserted mineral plant. Well, we haven't exactly uh, explored one of those yet. So let's take a look. Why not? And it's over. I know I'm not saying anything. Nope. Ignoring you guys. Raptor have anything in it? Oh, got some credits. I'll take those. That'll be my payment for helping them out. All right. Deserted mineral lab. Mineral plant. It's probably some industrial sector area. But we'll take a look. Assuming that it's deserted, it just has a generic name. I'm going to assume this is a, a prefab location. That uh, doesn't really have anything special in it. But we'll take a look anyway. Okay, so planet, pretty, no, whatever, and then this area, huh, oh, that looks interesting, okay, let's go take a look. Let's get out our, uh, our gun here, make sure it's reloaded. Since we're landing, let's go ahead and do a quick save as we make our way up. So, you can see some stuff in there. Nope. Ecliptic. Okay. I'm gonna do some jumps here. Did I find anyone? Nope. There was a red marker here for a second. Where'd they go? Oh, there he is. Let's take him out. him. Are they fighting over there? Or... Oh, jeez. Got right there. I don't know how I missed him. Oh, that guy was firing at me. Whole time. Didn't realize it. Okay. 
Ah, fucker, whatever. All right. <clears throat> I got some credits there. So this will open up this big door. Let's go ahead and... Oh, needs power first. Okay. Uh, is there any cable around? Not that I can see, but we're going to probably have to go up to this area first. You guys got anything on you? Got a bunch of mines. Let's go down there. All right. So we're going here. And let's get out. I don't have a weapon bound to six anymore. Six would have been my Magstorm Magshear, right? So that's 50, 25. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Six. There we go. Okay. Let's go with the uh, the Urban Eagle, though. Since we have uh, more ammunition for it. I don't really want to use too much of my mag shear stuff. Okay, so we got the collection room there. Crew quarters here. Let's clear this place first. Might find an interesting weapon. Probably not, though. Oh? Oh, it's a scientist. He had a very fancy suit for a scientist. I was not expecting that. I don't know why I'm being all stealthy. Screw it, let's go. I'm not gonna unlock that. That glowing thing. Uka! back here then real quick check out all this stuff okay okay Two more left, I'm assuming they're up there higher. Let's go around the catwalk. Up to what I assume is the, the control room for the outside panel area. Okay. Before I open that though. Oh my god, my aim. Please. One more. I don't know why I'm going that way. What you got? A bashing side star? I hate bashing weapons. I don't melee anyway, so it's like... Alright, last guy, where you at? Oh, you're up there. Oh, hi there. Oh, you're a bit leveled up, aren't you? What do you got? 
an anti-ballistic calibrated eclipse spacesuit. No thanks. You were just chilling up there. Oop. All right. Then this just leads me out to here, which I'm assuming is a power control panel somewhere. Yeah? No, maybe? There's gotta be some sort of power control in here. Unless this is like for a quest and I'm just not there. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a control panel right there. What does this do? see open doors but is that the door that I want or is it a different door because it's more of a switch that didn't have power than an actual door door you know well, let's go down here first ouch uh, getting contusions from falling and, oh wait there's doors right there So this leads out to here. Oh. Oh, so we're going backwards through the area. Okay, I gotcha. That makes sense. And then this. Lower this down, yeah. Nice. I'm gonna just tap that one more time and walk off, because there's sometimes stuff underneath the not this time, okay. Oh, yep, and here was this area. Also, I never went into collection, did I? Well, we'll look in collection as we leave. For now, let's take a look and see if there's anything of value here, which there probably is. It's benzene, water, water. Look for the main loot, that was what we're looking for. Which will be right here. It's a shame it's an EM weapon. Darn. These just basically stun the enemy. It doesn't actually uh, injure them, so... Not great. Also, it does 25% extra damage while aiming, which doesn't even matter, because it, it just stuns them, so... I'm just not going to run with that. So we need a power thing there, so we can open this, which... Oh, right there. Now I can activate this door to open it. And then open it out there. But let me just do a quick sweep of this area one more time. There are fluorides. I don't see any more treasure or loot containers, I should say. Alright, let's check out the collection room. I don't care enough to open that. I think this is just gonna lead me out to, yeah, somewhere I've already been. Okay. There was a window here, right? I just peer through this. Is there anything worth? No, there's that, but that might be also locked, so we're just leaving. Alright, so that was the materials collection post, so if we find any more like this, we'll probably end up skipping it. <clears throat> there's no real point to, uh, I wanted to go into this, this, and then heal my contusion, which is bandages. There we go. All right, well, yeah, that was that. So any more deserted mineral plants will know that uh, we can skip them. They're, they're nothing too special there. Where is Tau Ceti 2? There it is. Let's go ahead and scan that. A gourmet production center. Okay, let's go ahead and scan this rock while we're at it. Might as well, we're not going to land there because there's nothing there, but a gourmet production center. That could be interesting, but it does say Tao in the name, so. Let's 
see what we got. It might be something cool, or it might just be a facility that they make food at. <laughs> it probably is where they make food at, but we'll see. Okay. Let's hop on out. Incidentally, if you've not played Starfield before, um, you can enter and go through the ship. I don't know if I've shown that before. I mean, I think I have when we got on to a, uh... Damn it. I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh my god, please! Keep hitting tab. By accident. Alright. I don't think this is the gourmet place, is it? Yeah, I was like, this is not what I was looking at. This is just like a, a hovel on the outskirts of it, isn't it? Wait, is this? Hmm. Okay, plan, chore list. Just some lore about the place. Ooh. I think that shotgun, is it better than mine? Nope, it's the exact same. Shame. So this place is the place that I'm thinking of. We might actually skip this place, because it might be story relevant. Well, not necessarily story, but... Um... <clears throat> it is quest related, yep. Okay. This is not one that we want to take a look at, so... Yep. This plays a bigger part in uh, a quest line, so we're not going to go and explore too much of it. I thought it was a settlement, but nope, it's uh, this place, I guess. Okay. That's fair. All right. Anyway, let's take off to the next one. I knew there was a story-related place somewhere in this uh, place. I just did not remember if it was something that would be pre-marked. So, I'll set here for four, 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 four. Here it is, right? Got a rocky climate, but uh, again, we're just looking for places that have, you know, some form of like structure on them that we can get and take a look at. So next we want five, which I believe was right here. We got a science outpost, an abandoned mining platform, and an industrial outpost. Have we looked at abandoned mining platforms before? Hmm. I don't remember, so we're going to check it out. I know we've been to, like, abandoned mines. Nope. Ignoring. Well, there's also spaceship debris, but... Spaceship debris is garbage. There's never anything good there. It's just like a little uh, spaceship crash that has like some loot, but it's not like important loot or anything. At least I've never found anything good there. Sometimes you'll find components, but that's about it. I've, I've never found like any legendary weapons or guns at them. They're pretty generic locations. We're just gonna ignore it. Okay. Next up the ship. I always forget which way I'm looking on these two. Well, this place looks interesting. I don't think I've seen one of these before. I'll say interesting, but... Swarmling. Don't know where its head is at, but we'll just shoot it. Okay. I think we can understand why it's abandoned now.
Ugh, that thing just looks... Ugh. It's like a spider, but it has, like, webs between it. Susan Kaufman's status late. I thought that guy was torn in two, but <clears throat> it was not. Alien Scrabble. Mailstorm. Okay, so this place got overrun by aliens of some sort. Alrighty. Well, I, I, I say of some sort, but we know exactly what they are because we saw one. We're going to be fighting off aliens as we go through this place. Okay. So, we, we're going to come out of here when we're finished with the level. I say level, but it's a uh, facility, really. Oh, hi there. I don't see anything that way. So, let's go ahead and open this and then see if I can stealth at least one of these guys. Oh, yeah, they're little babies. Barely even a threat. It's just a shame we won't get any loot from them. Unlike pirates and stuff. There we go. Wasn't sure if I killed her or not. One more in there. Mag shot. One of those guns. I forgot what a mag shot was for a second. Kind of surprising none of them had, like, uh, weapons to fend these guys off. Ugh. Isn't it? I mean, one guy had, like, a, a mailstorm. I saw a mag cutter back there. So it seems like they should have... weaponry of some sort to fight them off with, you know? Ooh. Helmet. Not better than mine. Question, am I... I didn't mean to hit I, because I is just gonna send me back out to there. Hit that one. Have I leveled anything else up? I haven't been paying attention to the thing on the left that, like, goes up when I do stuff. There's one. Yep. I think it was, uh, stealth. More damage when sneaking and suppressed weapons do more damage. Nice. What about looting containers? Okay, that one's still pretty up there. Okay. Yeah, that's all for now. This is the platform I saw from uh, over there. Oh, hello there. Oi! Bastards. Oh, 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 I don't like that, I don't like it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. There's so many! Okay, I can understand why they uh, may have died even with weapons. Okay. There's one more. One more back there. Is it you? No. Yeah, swarm sisters. They're like giant ant. Things. I hate them. A lot of the creatures that are uh, 
in the game are insect-like and I hate it. What's it at? Is it in this container? Looks like it is. Or it's above or below me? Oh, long, long, I gotta fucking deal with it. That's fine. Spaghetti carbonara. They definitely had, uh, weapons. But, <laughs> yeah, those guys, if I didn't have that minigun, I would have had to, like, reload multiple times, and they would have just literally, as their name implies, swarmed me. So, that would not have been good. Check and see if there's anything up there hidden. Doesn't look like it. Nothing up on this little platform, not that I can see. Could turn on my scanner and just actually see if there's any loot around. Oh, hey. She had to be freezing out here. Without the, uh, like, spacesuit or armor on. this? Ah, those are frag grenades. Didn't want them. Okay. What you, sir? What you got on you? Distilled water? Before we go up any stairs, let's search this area. Let's see, this guy had, like, a bunch of grenades on him. Is he trying to do one of those last stands where he like sets up a bunch of grenades and then uh, dies in the explosion with them? Antimicrobial. Nice. Okay. That's my ship. And if we come through here. There's the uh, security door we saw before. We can just pull this and unlock it now. Alright. Up the stairs we go then. So, looking at it, we could go up here into the larger structure, which would take some time to clear, or we could start in the smaller structure over here, which we'll do. Oh, damn. They actually killed a sister? Nice. A lot of these guys are just armed with cutters, which is the uh, mining equipment. Not even that good against enemies, so, you know, props to them. For uh, managing to kill them. I think this level was just that stuff. Nothing else special on this one. Thought of something on top of the crate. I did not. Alright. There's another swarm one there. Let's go ahead and uh come out, shall we? Well that's a swarm mother, huh? Is this stop dropping and rolling? I think they're going down there to climb up these stairs. Oops, I didn't mean to actually go down, but okay. I got a dislocated limb. Hey, get back here! Back up we go. Didn't actually mean to go down. That's fine. I don't know where this last one is, so we're just gonna ignore it for right now. Lots of secure access, is it? 
Maybe I was supposed to go up the other side first. Unless I can find the area to get around in here. You guys see the last enemy? I don't see anything here. Oh. There's one. If I can just get a shot on it, there we go. One guy down. Don't see the other one, though. Unless it's hiding right behind there or in there or something. I don't know. Oh, this has nothing on this side. I can just boost on the top or around the side of it, but... Can't get through there. The rest over the other side, it looks like. Luckily, they gave me a way to get on top of this. Ow. How did I get hurt? Well, I can walk over across this. I was gonna check the roof of this one while I'm here. But look, a crate of some sort. Ooh! Actually, I don't know why I said ooh, because that's actually kind of worse than my thing that I have that shares the same ammo for it. Uh, so, I picked up this one, but I have this one, which does 808. And this one has less mag, so I'm just gonna actually drop this one. Shame. Okay. Well, let's jump down to this level. We take a look at the uh, mother and the corpses around it. They had a lot of ammunition, but because they just couldn't kill the swarm mother. go over this way. That's where we saw the last marker. It was like around here. I don't see it, so... Whatever. Okay. Hold on a second. Let me fix up my injured limb here. There we go. up there. But first, let's take a look in this area. And they got swarm at two of them. Wait, I think I killed one of those, actually. Ooh, we have some Xeno Warfare tech. I'm not gonna pick it up, because, again, I don't really need it to uh, do what I do. Alright. Um, so we have a pack, and then we have a mannequin with Nothing good on it. These mannequins never have anything good on them. I've never seen a mannequin and been like, wow, that has some great stuff, except for one case, but that's a special case. Like every other like randomly uh, set up one is like whatever. Okay, anyway, nothing in this little shack, so let's go ahead and continue on to the big boy tower over here. We're gonna go further up, but Let's clear it room by room for now. Really? Oh, pistols got leveled up to the next one, so let's go ahead and unlock its level. Now, normally you would have to, like, level up in order to have skill points to put into these things, by the way. I just had leveled up so much that I had like a bunch of them without using various things, so that's why I have so many currently. Can't get under there. I can get around it though, but I can't open the door, so that's unfortunate. So there's there's nothing in here. Yeah. Oh yeah there is. Sister, yes, it is. Drill operations panel. Join diagnostic network. On a British diagnostic network, 
No error, no response after that. Okay. What about this panel? Does this one have anything on it? Cannot reach engineering staff. So maybe I have to go over to the other side of the building. Do something there and then I can interact with those. Not that I think it'll actually do anything, but... If anything, I'll only get some, like, resources that are mined, which I don't really care about. What's this? A uh, shoddy? Yeah, these guys were like, yep. Let's, uh, get armed up here. Do unarmed damage. Well, I'm not unarmed, but I'll take the magazine anyway. Okay. I don't see anything else around here, so continue on. Oh, yep, here's the uh, the way across. How about you don't? I thought more were gonna be coming through, but uh, no, they weren't. God, the way they just, like, slide out at, like, such a high speed. Terrifying. Okay, we got that guy there who... Oh, I think they're both under there. But can I hit them from here? Hey, I got him. One left. There it is. All right. Looking to see if there's any loot back there, but nope. Right, so this seems to be the main loot hall because we have this here. We have a hacker's advanced pirate thing, which less damage from human enemies and plus two auto attempts that can be banked while hacking. Ooh. Unfortunately, it's not that good helmet wise. If I repair. Currently, I have thermal resistance. And my energy and stuff is higher, too. So... I think I'll just keep what I have. Pick up the, uh... Other things here. I'll just search the bodies and such to see if there's anything... Else of note. Rec room panel. Stop taking the Xenoyaki. I guess that's teriyaki, but maybe with Xeno parts, huh? Hmm. Maybe this side wasn't the uh, area there. Maybe I can't activate the drill. Let's go back. I think there was more stairs leading up outside, yeah? I don't know if that just leads to the roof or a different area, but we'll take a look. No, it just leads to right here. Okay, well. Okay, that was this area. Wouldn't it necessarily be bad if you weren't, uh, over leveled and stuff like me but pretty little place it's not a quest or anything it's just out here this is the kind of stuff we're trying to find doing this series neat little places like this so you can land at and have a little fun unique experience find the uh the dunwich of starfield to say anyway this area is done we just have the generic locations here. That was five, so let's find six. There's six. So we have a mining outpost, which we don't want to go to. And then we have this moon, which is a deserted robotics lab, which... Have we been to one of those yet? I think we have. What was this place called again? Just an abandoned mining platform. Or 
was I just at? Hold on. Which one was I looking at last? Was it this one? Sure, there we go. It was over here. I suppose let's go and just... We'll, we'll go down, take a look, see if it looks familiar or not. Never hurts to just take a quick look, you know? It's only gonna be a couple seconds. Okay, what do we got? I've never seen this place before, to my knowledge. Let's take a gander at it. Definitely overestimated just how much I was going to jump there. But that's fine, I can get up here then. We got some robots patrolling around, it looks like. You freaked out? Is that a pirate? I can't believe I managed to hit him. I'm actually surprised with that. Yep, pirates. Alright. What else we got? There we go. Got him. Wow, stealth is actually pretty OP. Especially with the uh, later levels of the, uh, like, Damage boost from being stealthed. Comes with silencer and shit. God damn. Oh. Something just shot him from over there. There it is. Yeah, jump in the air where you can't, like, maneuver so I can just shoot you. Genius. Okay, the other guy's on the other side, I think. All right, well, <clears throat> take a little peek in here. What do we got? Must not have heard me open the door. Right, buddy? Right? Right? <laughs> the gravity is so, like, minimal on this planet. It just takes him so long to fall over. Was that a... Oh, that was a key card. It looks small and yellow like a key card, so I was like, ooh. Key card, question mark? What oh, we got out here? Give me the shells. There we go. Membrane and aluminum. Still not seeing the person who shot at me, or who was the red dot over here yet. There it is. Damn it! Fire! Here we go. Okay. Uh, I'll take the credits. Not that I need them or anything, but I'll just take them anyway. We've already listened to Delgado's directive. Okay. I think that about takes care of everyone who, uh, kind of sitting here outside. Once we go inside a place, I think we're pretty much good. Go ahead and take Gander inside here, shall we?
Oh no! I didn't want to go inside. Well. Shoot. That guy, like, started running towards me. And I just, like, said, nope. Bathroom, nothing in there. Lab, we'll look at that in a second. Why do they never clean up the bodies? You know? If this is a place they're planning to, like, live in or chill at, why not? You know? Which don't make no sense. It's like in Fallout, where people are living at a place, but they don't clean up the very obvious piles of, like, debris that are in their house. It's like, why, my guys? Just do it. I feel like that'd be one of the first things that I did if I was, like, a, uh survivor in an apocalypse world or if I took over a base like this I'd be like okay let's get rid of all these rotten corpses so we can actually have a little uh you know space to do stuff like after of course checking and making sure the facility was safe hey we got a new Thing. Where's melee? There it is. The knife looks too much like a gun to me. I just, just never know where it's at. Right, so we got a cafeteria here. Yeah, like the first thing I would do, secure the area. Which, assuming, I mean, since they're in this deep and whatnot, and they're just kind of chilling, looking at stuff. It definitely feels like they have secured the area. The next thing I would do is remove all the... We've got company. ...garbage from the floors and stuff like that. Remove the bodies and stuff like that, you know? That way, we have a nice, clean environment to work on. And sure, they're pirates, but they're not barbarians. You know what I mean? It's not like they're raiders from Fallout, where they're like, yeah, let's hang up corpses and stuff like that. They're, they're just people who want to get rich by less than reputable means. You know? I think that's this area complete. Let's check down here. You know what? Let's go with the pistol. Why not? Fuck it. Aim, please. Get back here. Get back here. Shit. There was a third one that was hidden. I'm on the lab board. Ow. On fire. Okay. Oh, there's loot. Ooh, what's this? Ah, just a backpack or jetpack, whatever. Well, I don't really need that one. 
mine's uh, still better, so. Um, also, I leveled up reloading, it looked like. Where was it at? There it is. Okay. What, what does that do, actually? I reload faster. Hmm. That was ballistics and energy, and then next is particle beam weaponry. What's a, what's a particle beam weapon? Have I ever had a particle beam weapon? Look at my stuff here. Would it be like a Nova? This is still ballistic. This is energy. I just realized all my weapons are physical. I don't have any uh, energy weapons on me. That's fine. I don't need them. All right. Anything else in this area? I'm going to empty my magazines, huh? Maybe I'll go with this. Because this uh, the AK-47 doesn't seem to do much damage and stuff. You know what? I'm not going to pick this lock because it's just going to release the robots. That's all this one does. 100% that's all it does. Mm. Okay, that's a lot deeper than I thought I was going to go. Let's search the rest of this little area first before we head to the storage area. What are these? They're just bottles of stuff I can't pick up. Okay. Let me just loop back over to here, which I don't think I searched in this little area. Don't need that stuff. And then down here, we have a whole lot of electrical, huh? Okay. Oof. Take a look at electrical. Xeno grub. Oh, I had another guy over here too. With a weapon rack key. Where's that for? Oh, there. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, ho, ho. I'm gonna take these real quick so I can actually look at them properly here. So we have the Assassin's Calibrated Side Star. I don't think I have a Side Star, right? That uses that caliber. Yeah, so it does more damage the less armor one has. Doesn't affect for me. Randomly deals poison. Nah, I'm gonna drop it. The other thing I have is this drum beat, which I have a drum beat right here, but mine's better. We're gonna drop this one. That's an automatic drum beat. Well, I don't need that right now. I'm using mine as a sniper. All right, we have antimicrobial, we have an industrial workbench, we have a guy dead in there. Oh, that's my robot, okay. Oh, so we're back out of this storage or lab area entrance, gotcha. Yeah, I think that's the whole area explored here. Let's head back outside. And then I think there's one more building. Maybe two that were here. I don't remember exactly. Unless this whole thing was just all linked together. Although I didn't search this guy's body. He only has ammo on him anyway. Yeah, okay. That seems to be everything. That just leads me around to here. And... Yep, yeah, I don't see anything else that seems of interest on the roofs or anything, so... That about wraps this place up. Alright. Neat! Everything else links together uh, in the science lab and stuff like that, so... All right. So yeah, this place, nothing special. See another deserted research or robotics lab, we can skillfully ignore it. 
Now then, Tau Seti uh, 7 is what we're looking for now, right? Did I search this one? I did. No. Which would be here. Scan. It's just a barren planet. Same with its moon. Okay. And now we have Tau Seti 8, which is the last one on our journey, which we aren't going to get anything there. But we have a abandoned farm. Okay. Now this one undoubtedly is going to be nothing. But we should still probably take a look at it anyway. Oh, there's anything good in the shipping crate. We'll just zoom over to it real quick. Sometimes you'll find debris just kind of chilling in space and be able to go to it and take a look and loot it. So why not? Reactive gauges, okay. Something else just jumped on my sensor. Another shipping crate, huh? Not interested that much in it. Excuse me, can I go to the farm, please? Thank you. All right. So now, we'll take a look at the farm. I'm assuming it's just going to be a farm. <laughs> Probably not going to be anything special here. Watch this be one of the more interesting locations we ever find. Like, what if they have a straight up, like, a uh, plant from Pet Shop of Horrors or something in here, yeah? That's a big bitch. Okay, well, just jump over here. So we will try to spend all of our ammunition before reloading. Hey, I leveled up! Awesome! Oi! Would you run? Alright, last bullet! Okay. I, I thought it was still alive and I was, uh, I was gonna nope the hell out of there. God, why are they always insects? I hate it. God, look at this fucking thing. Disgusting. Why are insects so gross, y'all? Hmm? I'm gonna turn my back and then one's gonna just fucking like show up. I just know it. Holy shit. Um. Those ones are huge, yeah? <clears throat> okay, let's go kill those real quick, because I really don't want them sneaking up behind me. I can't tell if these are things that have overrun this location, or if they're just native wildlife that happens to be going through it. Oh, the turret's friendly to me? Oh, Jesus Christ, he decided to jump on top! Okay, well... Oh. Oh, those are just normal guys. Okay. Cool. So those ones aren't hostile. Okay. Yeah, uh, as I was saying, I don't know if those crickets are ones that are, um... If they necessarily took over the base. Or if they are just, uh, like, native fauna that happen to wander into the base from, like, outside. Like, these guys are kind of, like, just native fauna that are just wandering around. Just fuck up. Okay. Ah, disgusting.
All right, so back to searching this place out. Like I said, probably not going to be much here that's interesting. It looks like your classic... Uh... I'm just going to back out of here. I don't care enough to hack into that. Your classic case of farmers settle on the planet to farm and do stuff. Aliens get mad at him and take it back. That's all there really is to it. So. A little bit stronger. last one at. Gotta be outside, yeah? Okay. Now the area is secure. Let's sweep the building. See what we're dealing with here. Yes. Med pack. Well, he didn't get a chance to use it, it looks like. Okay. Let's sweep down this side. Anything in the tank? Nope. Anything here? Any notes about this place at all, really? Like. Something like, the crickets we brought with us to help nurture the plants, they have started to grow at an alarming rate after feeding off the plants native to this planet. And their growth has been accelerated, and that's what led to the, the downfall of the, the colony, right? Like, is that what happened? If we don't find a, uh, a note or anything anywhere. That's going to be my canon of what happened. Is They brought crickets from um, another location. I, I, I would say Earth, but well. <coughs> anyway, they brought in crickets and uh, they ate these plants and started to just like rapidly grow. Soon they grew way too big and started to just kill the colonists. What we can say. Let's check this little place next. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find a, uh... This spacesuit's different. Oh, man, it looks so cool, though. I bet it's shite. Okay. Let's see. Ain't no way that thing's in here. That adds a little bit of support to my started out small theory, don't you think? Let me search the top layers first. I think that. There's limited area up here. Ooh, dude, this, this looks so freaking badass. Look at this. What's mine do again? Mine's just generic. Tracker Alliance nonsense, but I could do less damage from aliens and look cooler. Oh man. Oh, that looks so cool though. But do I really want to take a hundred extra physical 
damage just because I want to look cooler? No. The answer is no. If it was stronger, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's go. But it's not. So we're not going. Yeah, this was definitely crew quarters of some sort. I don't know why I said of some sort. It is crew quarters because there's beds. There, there's no of some sort there. Okay. And there we have a, a lab with another exit. Perfect. I don't have to backtrack. some slates. This is lead botanical researcher Maritikov. It's now been 50. This is lead botanical. This is lead researcher Maritikov. Hold on. Stop. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't listen. This is lead botanical there we go. researcher Maritikov. It's now been 15 days since initial germination. Our theory has always been the same. Crops grown in microgravity should be able to reach many times their terrestrial size. Imagine. Low gravity farms growing acres of massive produce. It could change life for everyone in the settled systems. After a decade of work, we may finally be finding some success. We found a low gravity world with the right soil composition. Our new seedlings are growing so fast that we've already relocated a dozen to the larger warehouse plots. This is the most exciting time in our many years of research. Okay, that was the first entry. What's next? This is lead botanical researcher Maritikov. It's been 44 days since initial germination. Our plants have begun to fruit, and the results are truly spectacular. Our largest fruit samples are over a meter long, with nearly 10 times the normal nutritional value. We believe the soil on this world has played a large role in this growth. The team has been busy studying its chemistry, and we believe we may be able to replicate it on other planets. I've summarized those findings and stored them on this device for later study. And then the last one, which I hit the wrong button to open up, but... This is lead researcher Maritikov. It's been 48 days since initial germination. Multiple members of our team have reported spotting local wildlife on the horizon. This is troubling. We chose this location, believing it was barren. Most signs of life were on the other side of the globe. But we didn't have time to monitor the site for a full round of seasons. Could the wildlife on this planet migrate? If those creatures discovered what were growing here, I'm not sure what we could do to stop them. Well, darn. I guess my theory was partially correct. It was just that plants happened to be what was growing bigger here, and not the um, crickets, so yeah. So that's kind of what happened in this place, huh? They uh, were trying to grow bigger crops to help feed humanity. And the alien wildlife migrated. And wiped them out. Now, I'm not sure why, having spotted alien wildlife why they didn't hire some security of some sort. Um, that just seems foolish to not do. Like, they had one, two turrets around that I saw. And after that, like, you can see the, the laser for one of the turrets right there flickering around. But yeah, weird... Hmm. Alright. Well, that was that planet. 
honestly, better information than I thought we were going to get. Like, I thought it was just going to be like a, a little farm, just abandoned, nothing special there. And that's all we were going to see and get. But no, it was actually a little bit more informative than that, so that's pretty cool. All right, so I think this is that entire solar system taken care of. Nice. And we already searched a bi biotics lab. has been abandoned, so there's no point in going back to one of them. So, that was Tau City, everyone. Yeah. There was one place we didn't really explore much because that's linked to a story. If you do want to uh, explore that place on your own, get the game, and, you know, you can go ahead and play through the missions. I wouldn't go there by yourself. I mean, you could. It might accelerate the mission or change how it is, but... Honestly, it, it's I think it's funner to do the quest, and it, it comes up very quickly in one of the quest lines. I'm not going to tell you which one because it's a surprise, but yeah, fun, fun. So next time, we shall uh, go down and explore Ir 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 Iridani. Jeez, I don't know why I had a stroke pronouncing that, but Iridani. And then from Iridani, I think that's the last one in the corner, so we'll probably go there there and then back up here and gonna go from there so till next time everyone bye bye